Hi, I'm Gail C., Director of Teaching and Learning here at ASD, and this week I am thrilled to have Kim Bain and Jason Hicks with us. Um, they're kicking off our professional learning uh, for the year in terms of people that we bring in. And Kim and Jason are here. Kim actually was here on the weekend working with a cohort of teachers who are doing a, certif a certification course around inclusive education. And we've finished that five course uh, cohort, so we're feeling pretty good about that. And um, then Jason and Kim have stayed on for another two days to work with some of our teachers who are dabbling, putting their toes in the water around co-teaching, co-planning. So can you talk to us about what that really means, Kim? Yes. Um, so co-teaching is an approach that schools often use when they want to meet the needs of a wide range of learners in a way that maximizes their existing resources. So often what that will look like is a classroom teacher will be in teaching with a support teacher, either right. an EAL specialist or a learning support specialist, mm -hmm. and um, they're able to pay attention to the needs of the whole class um, in, in a way that feels very mm -hmm. safe and approachable to all students. Okay, and then Jason, if you could let us know how we structured that here with, in terms of we work with upper elementary and middle school and how that went. Yeah, so those two groups spent time with us um, learning about some of the nuts and bolts of co-teaching. We spent time thinking about how co-teaching agreements might support the collaboration of the teachers in the classroom space. Uh, we've also spent some time looking at some co-teaching models and how teachers might move in and out of those models to meet the needs of students during their collaboration and then finally looked at some tools like templates that they might use to help design successful lessons. Mm -hmm. And you went into classrooms and watched a partnership and did, uh, yes. do that work and then debrief. Yeah, yeah we had the pleasure of um, being welcomed into a couple of classrooms, one at the elementary, upper elementary, and one at the middle school, and we were mm -hmm. able to watch co-teaching in action. Um, other teachers were also able to go on that learning walk with us and learn from the teachers who were co-teaching and also provide some feedback to those teachers mm -hmm. as well. Great. So we thank you for being here. We know our work is only just starting around this and you know our purpose is to upskill the teachers who are um, working on this model for us right now. So let's hear what some of those teachers had to say about their experience as well. So thank you very much for thank being you. here. So I'm here with two of our teachers. I have uh, Ali Farmer, who is a classroom teacher in fifth grade, and Trish Benish, who is one of our support teachers. And as you just heard from Kim and Jason, they were here working on a co-teaching model. So Ali, can you explain the process that we went through, what we did with Kim and Jason? Um, absolutely, so Trisha and I went actually to a conference in January um, to the winter training in Oman and we got to work with Kim a lot. So this was um, for us a really, I found, a really growing process where they came in and they really targeted it to um, our needs and for us we've been co-teaching now for a year mm -hmm. mindfully uh, working <laughs> together in our third year together um, and what we took away from them was how to extend our practice um, we got a lot of really great feedback mm -hmm. from um, we did a team teaching uh, lesson um, and they observed you mm -hmm, two mm -hmm, working yeah. together right so Trish, what, what sort of feedback did you take on board and what are your next steps after working with Jason and Kim? Um, the feedback I received I thought was really positive. It, uh, we were looking for really honest feedback, so mm -hmm. if they could be constructively criticizing us, I was open for it. Um, so some of the things that they confirm some of the things that we've been working on and maybe some things that we don't even intentionally do, mm -hmm. but realize that wow, we really should be doing this with more intention because then it could be a lot more effective. Right. Um, and then s some other feedback um, provided was um, something Kim had brought up that we didn't notice. She asked us if we both were right-handed <laughs> because she noticed that our direction of attention was more for right-handed, you know, for people. So, right. so that brought me like, oh, I didn't realize that. And one of our huge um, goals is making sure we have contact every student every day somehow it's meaningful right. and just those little things could really um, so some real nuances to yeah. help you yeah. improve your your, your craft yeah that. and I and I had the um, opportunity to sit in on the debrief and it, it was really great to hear 
you know, what you were doing really well, and, and here, are my, here are some areas that you might want to focus on that you can practice mm -hmm. yeah. between now and when they come back again to look mm -hmm. as well. So, and, and I also want to point out that we had uh, several other teachers, a mm -hmm. team of teachers in here watching and observing while you were working, which is great um, modeling for teachers who are just thinking about moving mm -hmm. into a, a co-teaching, co-planning model. So. And at, for me, it was very, very, um, I was so thankful that the school brought them back. Mm -hmm. um, gained so much from this PD on Sunday. I, like my head, I think it's just stopped swimming. Um, <laughs> but one thing that they t we, I took away and we were given time to really dive into our agreements. And we mm -hmm. had another teacher sit in with us who is, is just kind of diving into co-teaching and, and her insights were really helpful in us writing our agreements. And um, So writing agreements yeah. about how you work together. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. around um, co-teaching, co-planning, co-reflecting, and, and co-assessing. Co so we wanted to have every aspect covered and really diving in our co-planning is what's most important. Right, and really focusing on, so how is this making learning better for mm -hmm. our students? So yeah. I thank you for being risk takers, and putting yourselves out there and being coached by Kim and Jason. Mm -hmm. um, so that was wonderful, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you yeah. for bringing